G'day, so today I just want to do a short video. Um, a while ago, uh, I can't remember what it was, it was it, comments anyway, and discussing act safety and PPE. And uh, someone said something about using chain, wearing chainsaw trousers and potentially protecting from axe cuts. Now, I'm somewhat dubious of how well these will protect from an axe cut. But these trousers I've had for must be oh five at least over five years, and um, they're very um, badly worn and um, full of rips and that sort of thing. The actual cut protective material I don't think is affected, but they are a bit older, and it's recommended to replace them. So you know they are they've had their day and um, they've been great but but it's time for them to be uh, thrown out so before I throw them out why not put this to the test now I did think about doing a chainsaw cut test on them but um, frankly there's so many videos already out there of exactly that and when you do cut into these with a chainsaw basically it's like um, confetti and these strands get pulled out and they'll jam up the chainsaw and uh, basically cause it to stall. They're not like, they're not cut resistant by being tough, they're cut resistant by bogging the saw down to the point that it stalls. Let's say you're wearing your chainsaw trousers and you're doing some limbing and you accidentally hit yourself with an axe. How much value do these protect? I could do a control test on like a pair of jeans or something, I don't have an old pair of jeans at the moment and frankly any kind of like single layer cloth even some of the harder stuff absolutely next to zero value in cut protection cloth can be used for cut protection but we're talking super super thick many layers and that's like the medieval gambesons but you know jeans any kind of trousers um, you wear in modern day zero cut protection really so without further ado we'll give it a go so I'm not really gonna, I don't really have anything to approximately replicate flesh on the shin, but um, what I'm gonna try and do is see how the actual fibers are affected by an ax blade. So I've just got it on top of a bit of punky wood, which is a bit softer, but for starters, I'm just gonna drop the ax onto the wood. That was just a drop. There wasn't any power to that swing. And you can see there, this is not a cut protective material. That has gone all the way through. That was not a powerful blow. That was literally me dropping the ax. This is a sharp ax. It's a thin limbing ax. And uh, it cuts tree limbs, it will cut your limbs. So, I think that settles that. It's, um, I doubt it's, any more protective than a pair of jeans to be honest I'm not seeing any any value to that okay another very light swing and again zero cut protection these are not designed to stop cuts from a, from a blade <clears throat> as I said it's like a confetti that when the chainsaw cuts into it it pulls the material out and clogs the saw. It's not designed as some kind of stab proof or cut proof material. It's designed to be pulled out and, and jam the saw. So, just another one for luck. Very, very light blow. Extremely light and again, all the way through. So, in short, wearing chainsaw protective gear offers absolutely zero protective value from axes. Axes are very very dangerous tools when you don't know what you're doing. <clears throat> so do your research before you use axes, learn the techniques and consider investing in chainmail or, or um, some other kind of protective gear that actually is designed to stop cuts. So I hope that was of interest and uh, Look forward to hearing some discussion in the comments about potentially 
other alternatives to chainmail that may stop an axe. 